Sports has set the standard for success when it comes to quality immersive sports gaming experiences. So when the UFC and EA partnered up for a UFC game, despite the obvious challenges of simulating octagon action, the goal remained the same. And as you will see here, EA's quest to capture mixed martial arts, the fighters and their nuances had no limitations. big goal for us has been to get the user to forget that they're playing a video game, to accept that these are real fighters. Characters feel real, the environments feel real, they all work together, and you feel the fight. Look at this! Who saw that coming? The UFC have been tremendous partners in terms of giving us access to their athletes. The scanning process has been pretty funny with a lot of the fighters. We put them in a, a dome with 18 cameras pointed at them with a controlled lighting environment. We ask them to do a lot of facial expressions. It's not something that they're used to, so a lot of them get a kick out of it. It's tremendous for us in terms of being able to get the right level of detail and unique characteristics of every fighter's face at a level we haven't been able to do before. We're getting their head, their facial structure, their hairstyles. We're getting scars, we're getting tattoos. It's not just a head in a uniform, it's the whole body. The fans are super passionate. They're gonna call us out if we get it wrong. So achieving a static likeness through the scans is one thing, but bringing it to life is a whole other challenge. One of the goals that we identified right from the get-go is a locomotion system that kept our fighters grounded and eliminated the sliding and skating stuff that you see in a lot of video games today. It's traditionally been a, a difficult problem to solve. With the new Ignite system, we've been able to accomplish that. There's gravity, your feet have to touch the ground when you move. When you're changing direction, there's a transfer of momentum, right? This solid base is important for attacking reasons. Your punches come from your feet. Your kicks come from your feet. The jab or the straight right, it comes from the ball of your feet transfers up through your body and into the opponent. The solid base is a very important starting point. It's kind of a no-brainer for a UFC game. The fight starts on your feet. UFC martial artists are as creative as, as they are technical. You're seeing a lot more dynamic striking. You're seeing some flying knees. You're spinning, seeing a lot of spinning heel kicks. You're seeing guys do cartwheel kicks. You're seeing guys do capoeira kicks. But you're also now seeing guys jump off the cage and use the cage for the strike. So we needed a, a dynamic environment that supported this type of attack. We allow the players to seamlessly go from their regular stand-up striking off the cage and into their opponent. And you can do this from any direction. We need to make sure with the cage strikes that the fighter is driving his feet off the canvas into the cage. That energy is transferred off the cage into the strike and into the opponent. That's the ultimate goal. With this title, we have an opportunity to be a benchmark for video game character quality across the industry, not just within sports games. It's pretty exciting where we can go with it.